your drive with Laurie and Damien on Mix 93.8. Joining us on the line, we have CEO and founder of NSBC Africa, Mr. Mike Anderson. Today, we're going to be sharing some tips and some insights into the world's most successful and what accelerated their successful path. Mike, welcome to the show. How are you today? Fantastic, Damien. I hope the same with you. No, all good on our side. Really looking forward to today's chat. So, although this ideal situation of quick success doesn't usually work out in life, there are some incredible stories you've witnessed. You've had the fortunate opportunity over the time to meet these really mercurial, highly successful entrepreneurs who've shared it with you. So, what it took them to achieve a bit, what we'd call, I suppose, quicker success mm. uh, as opposed to most people? Please expand on this and um, share some of the tips and insights you picked up along the way. Yeah, oh, Damien, this discussion, you know, it's top of the pile for everyone. And as you would know, anyone entrepreneur or business owner who's starting a business, uh, providing for their family, uh, being successful, staying in business, uh, you know, it's just such an important topic. And uh, you can never, we can never get tired of talking about it. You know, I spent most of my life traveling the world, meeting the most incredible people. And uh, in turn, those incredible people have learned from others. So, so the kind of insights I'll share with you, you know, it's not rocket science, but it's always a nice reminder, and one can expand on that. And you know, I always say, Damien, you know, if we can model the success traits of the zero to hero mega entrepreneurs, there is no doubt that we will experience fewer difficulties and less failures, and then a road to entrepreneurial success will be shorter. There's no doubt about that. Most of the working world never realize success. And in fact, Damien, only 5% are successful and 1% are super successful. Mm. Plenty of time, effort and sweat is needed before seeing these come to fruition. And yes, we become successful because we choose to and by the actions we take. So whether or not you're an established entrepreneur, or just starting out on your journey, there are particular traits you'll usually find operating within the exceptional entrepreneur. Most businesses do take time for success. Many entrepreneurs give up when there's no immediate success. Mm. If you speak to any successful person, you would quickly realize that things don't always go as planned. You know, I always say, and, and you know, when someone starts a business, the, the honeymoon is over quite quickly. <laughs> so that tenacity to keep going is imperative. And, and most successful people have been through a series of disappointments and failures before they've become who they are. And, you know, over the years we've spoken, Damien, you know, the, the point is, is that uh, failures are obstacle en route. Embrace them, learn from them and move on. Now, because success usually happens as a result of the accumulated experience people collect from their failures, it doesn't make any sense to assume that you will make it fast. Yes, you can succeed from the first attempt, but generally most people never make it before they fail a number of times. You need to understand and prepare for that. Always keep in mind that quick success must be a bonus. So I strongly encourage you to aim the listeners out there for fast success. There's no question about that. But don't assume that this is how life works. Mm. Slow and gradual progress is the way most successful people have followed until they have made it. Yes, in some rare cases, you might find a chance that pushes you forward quickly. The general rule is that you have to be patient and persistent until you make it. So importantly, Take a step every day, even if it was a small one, and eventually you will make it. That's as long as you keep moving and never give up. Mike. So let's highlight. Let's 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 highlight the, the twenty five steps. Uh, really that's governed by the most successful people in the world and of course to do to achieve enormous success quicker than most so let's cover these quickly and sh- in, in, in concise manner first of all we've spoken about this they get up insanely early in the morning before the nation rises and so before sunrise they reevaluate their short term medium term and long term goals and plan the attack for the day. They start their day laser focus. So that makes them kind of well ahead before the rest of the nation open their eyes. Importantly, they keep promises no matter how small. If you have integrity, nothing else matters. And if you don't have integrity, nothing else matters. So always do what you say you will do. Point number four, 
They permanently search for a better way of doing things, trying new things, learning new things, challenging the status quo. Point number five, they live their journey with persistence, determination, and self-discipline. Next key point, they have unshakable self-belief in whatever they do themselves and have supreme confidence in their ability to triumph. I like to say this, they know they're going to get there. It's just a matter of time. Next point, they always look on the bright side of life. In this way, they encounter fewer obstacles on the success journey. Next point, key point here, they follow their heart and intuition. Passion is what drives them to succeed. Because if you love what you do, you never have to work another day in your life. The late great Steve Jobs, of course, said that. They thrive on risk and don't think about failure. They have knowledge, experience, and a deep passion for their business. Their customers love what they do. They are willing to put in never-ending hours of work themselves. They continuously express gratitude and always have a positive outlook. They constantly challenge the status quo, which gives them the seeds of vision and opportunity. They don't wait for the perfect conditions. How many times have we spoken about that? Yeah. They thrive on risk and act quickly. They seize opportunities before the tipping point of evidence. And when they do fail or hit the wall or come through an obstacle, they bounce back quickly, positively, change direction and move forward. They demand excellence from themselves all the time. Mm. They soar with the eagles that fly high, only surrounding themselves with the positive big thinkers and achievers. They get rid of the toxic people around them. They take responsibility for everything irrespective of what happens out there. They only focus on what's important. They have the ability to say no to almost everything and everyone. Warren Buffett, a big point for him. They move faster and set tough deadlines. They visualize and feel their success until they live it. They focus on what they do best and outsource the rest. And finally, they just don't throw in the towel. They just keep going and never give up. And of course, that's key for them. Wow. I mean, you know, hearing these 25 points, obviously it's not hard and fast rules to to becoming successful, but it does help. And listening to the way you speak about it makes me think of a a meme that often pops up that talks about people who are successful and like, oh my goodness, you know, they overnight successes. But what people don't see, you know, the 10 years of of hard work or the five years of hard work and the failure and the struggle that went into that to eventually become successful. you You often, you know, see these amazing people in the media you know, in Forbes magazine around mm. the world. Mm. You know, they've got these billions of dollars, but you haven't seen them on their journey and how they got there. I, you know, never, there's, it's ne- as we've spoken, there's never that perfect curve to the top. Yeah. But you know, the important thing is, how important is your success for you and your family? How important is mm. it? And are you prepared? Look, let's not be silly. You know, if you, if you keep doing what's not working, uh, you're never going to get there. Yeah. So you have to have that ability to adapt and change and move forward. But you will get there. If you're determined and you're passionate, you're persistent and you persevere, you will eventually get to you where you want to be. As long as what you do is important to you and your family. That is so inspiring, Mark. It really sounds like you've got your, your finger on the pulse of, you know, all things that are keep you being at the, the best caliber that every entrepreneur yeah, is capable but to but be you know what's in. amazing? Thank you for that. But you know what's amazing? You know, you put a hundred of the world's most successful people in a room. And I mean, these are the key points that... Uh, Many will just repeat, and, and some are more important than the others. But in a nutshell, these are the key elements. Mm. And you know, and what they all say is, you know, you know, we, because of internet now and online searches and Google and all that, you don't have to change the wheel. Just follow what the most successful people have done. Yeah. If I want to start a dry cleaning business tomorrow, let me start researching. Who owns the greatest dry cleaning business in the world? And do exactly what they do. Model the success of others. And and, and the, 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 these successful people want others to copy and follow what they do mm. so that they can become successful. Mike, where can we access this information? Because it's super bulky, but I do want to reference back to it. So how can we get uh, the listeners as well as ourselves get closer to the NSBC and see amazing benefits to accelerate success as you've pointed out 
Lord, important. You know, the NSPC is Africa and Africa's largest SME organization. We are also the fastest growing organization of its kind in the world. And we're all about helping business owners to stay there, build bigger and more successful businesses so they can employ others. So the key point here is www.nsbc.africa. The listeners can enroll, they can become free business members, they can come to our events, our exhibitions, they can access how-to guides. There's an abundance, all based on 16 years of research on what is needed to stay there and succeed as a business owner. Superb. Mike Anderson, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on your drive and we hope to chat next week, sir. Fantastic. You have a good one. Thank you. Bye. Your Drive with Laurie and Damien on Mix 93.8.